Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about distance formula. So by the way, this one is the formula na gagamitin natin today in our discussion. We have d is equal to the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to 2 plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to 2. So I hope na matutunan nyo yung concepto ng distance formula. By the way, what is distance formula? When we talk about distance formula, we're using this formula in finding the distance between two points. So again, we are given two points at hanapin natin yung distance ng dalawa. Another thing na pwede nyo maisipan about the concept of distance formula is that it is used in finding the length of a segment. So let us, let us imagine this illustration. We have here a Cartesian coordinate plane wherein we are given two points, which is point P and point R. And our target here within our discussion today is to find the specific distance between these two points or the length of this given segment. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here example number one, which is find the distance between the points negative 3, 2 and 3, 5. Now, for us to have a better understanding about this topic, I have here a Cartesian coordinate plane and I have plotted this given coordinates. And this is the location of the first coordinate, which is negative 3, 2. Ito siya. And then the other one is 3, 5. I hope na tama yung aking pagkakaplot. Now, ano yung purpose? Bakit natin kailangan yung plot? So for me, eh, as a teacher, uh, I am instructing my students to plot this kind of points for them to visualize what is, the, what is their problem or what is the problem all about. So, since we already plot this given coordinates, Imagine it in segment. Ang target natin is to find this, the distance between these two points or what is the length of the given segment. So, ano yung unang step na gagawin natin? So, ito yung ginagawa namin sa mga klase na nahawakan ko dati. So, for example, I have negative 3, comma 2, and then I have the other set of coordinates, which is 3, comma 5. And remember, our formula of the distance is d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to 2 plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to 2. So in our formula, kailangan natin ng mga values for those variables. So ang gagawin natin dito, mag-focus tayo sa ating coordinates. Ang ginagawa namin dyan, naglalagay kami ng label para hindi kami malito in terms of substitution. Since this is the first set of coordinates, you can label this as your x sub 1 and y sub 1. And for the next one, this is your x sub 2, this is your y sub 2. Kasi pag meron ka ng label, automatic, meron ka ng guide in substituting this kind of value sa ating formula. So, continue natin natin solution. We have here d is equal to the square root of yung ating x sub 2, which is 3, minus your x sub 1, your x sub 1, which is negative 3. So, you have here times negative 3 squared plus your y sub 2, which is 5, minus your y sub 1, which is 2, raised to 2. Ito yung, ating, yung ginagawa natin. So, be careful with the substitution kasi importante rin na tama yung substitution method na ginagawa nyo. Now, simplifying this radical, we have d is equal to the square root of 3 and then negative times negative, we know that will give you positive. So, plus 3 raised to 2. Plus, ito na part na to, we need to simplify it. It will give you 3 squared. At simplify lang natin, you have d is equal to the square root of 6 squared plus 9. So 
So, ang ginagawa ko rito, pinapatang sa inyo step by step process. But actually, this 6 squared is equivalent to 36. I hope na nasusundan nyo pa rin ako. And then simplify lang natin. Your D is equal to the square root of 45. So, we can accept this answer, but syempre, normally, we need to simplify the radical. So, simplifying this radical, square root of 45, this will give you d is equal to 3 square root of 5 units. Okay, sir, paano naging 3 square root of 5? We know that yung square root of 45 natin is equal to the square root of 9 times 5. And the square root of 9 is 3. Diba? Lalabas natin and then you have the square root of 5. Since wala tayong specific measurement for the distance, I will be using units to be specific. So this is the distance between points negative 3, 2 and 3, 5. D is equal to 3 square root of 5 units. Okay? So I hope na sa first example pala natin, you already know how to use the formula. So let's move on with the next example. Yeah. Sabi dito, what is the distance between the points negative 1, negative 1, 4, negative 5? Again, given these coordinates, you can directly use the formula. But, I want you to go deeper and try nyo muna i-visualize yung problem. So, sir, paano po? Plot nyo muna yung mga points natin. So, we have negative 1 and negative 1. So, probably, it is located at the third quadrant. This is the the place or the location of negative 1, comma negative 1. And then, we have 4 and negative 5. 4 and negative 5 ay makikita natin sa fourth quadrant. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is it. Ito yung ating second point. So, this is 4 negative 5. Now, target natin is to find the distance. Okay? So, after this, alamin natin yung distance, copy natin yung ating given coordinates. We have negative 1, comma, negative 1, tapos 4, negative 5. So, right after this, lagyan natin ng label. Importante kasi na mayroong label. So you have this as your x sub 1, y sub 1, this is your x sub 2, your y sub 2. And now you're ready to use this formula, t, I'm gonna use the red ink, d is equal to the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay? So, mabuti rin na, ano, na pinapractice nyo ma-memorize yung ating formula. So, substitute natin yung mga values na meron tayo. Your d or d distance is equal to the square root of your x sub 2, which is 4, the quantity of 4, minus your x sub 1, which is negative 1. So, we're gonna put parenthesis. Tanda na, pag negative yan, maglagay tayo ng parenthesis. Okay, negative 1. Para makita natin na we need to multiply. Squared plus the quantity of your y sub 2, which is negative 5, minus your y sub 1, which is negative. So, magalagay tayo yung parenthesis, negative 1 squared. Okay? Simplify natin yung loob ng ating radicals. So, we have here d is equal to the square root of 4, and the negative times negative, that is plus 1 squared, plus negative 5 plus 1 squared. So, bakit po naging plus 1? Kasi nga po, negative times negative. Simplify natin, you have d is equal to the quantity of 5 squared plus negative 4 squared. Okay? Simplify natin, d is equal to 25 plus 16. Okay? So, why 16? We have negative 4 raised to 2. So, therefore... The answer is 16. And simplifying this, 
d is equal to the square root of 41. Tama ba ako? Okay. Square root of 41. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, we need to think, can we still simplify or can we extract some of the square roots here? Wala na. But if you want to get the exact answer, you can use your calculator and get the square root of 41. So, the distance is equal to square root of 41 units. Ang d natin dito is square root of 41 units. So, that's it. Ganun kalayo yung distance ng dalawang points na meron tayo for item number 2. Let's move on with the last one. Yan. How far is 6, 8 from the origin? So, sir, we only have a single point. Paano natin gamitin yung ating distance formula? Don't worry. Kasi actually, in this problem, we have two points. We have two given points. So, una, you have your 6, 8. So, 6, 8 is located at your first quadrant. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the location of 6, 8. And now, sir, where's the next problem? Or where, where is the next point? So, ang tanong dito, how far is 6, 8 from the origin? Yung origin ngayon, this will serve as your second point. So, how? We know that the origin has the coordinates of 0, 0. Right? And then, correct mo lang to. Oh, perfect. We need to find the distance between 6, 8 and the origin. So, you have 6, 8, and then 0, 0. So, what if nauna yung 0, 0? Okay lang yan, pares lang nalabas dyan. Lagyan ng label. You have here your x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So, again, you can pause the video para kayo muna gawa, and later on, I will show you the answer. Pakipause mo na yung video. Okay, continue na natin. Using the formula, d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Tuloy lang natin. Your d is equal to yung iyong x sub 1. x sub 2 is 0. 0 minus 6 squared. Plus 0 minus 8 squared. Simplifying your radical. Negative 6 squared plus negative 8 squared. Simplify lang natin. Square root of 36 plus 64. And simplifying your radicand, your d is equal to 100. And simplify natin, we know that 100 is perfect square. Your d is equal to 10 units. This is the correct answer. Now, as you can see, as you can see, a yung distance ng 6, 8 from the origin. So you have here 10 units. Okay. So ganun lang po adali gamitin ng ating distance formula. I hope na natuto kayo sa ating comment section. And then, if you have any problem or question about this topic, pwede kayo mag-comment down below para mabasa natin. So, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para update kita sa ating mga future uploads. I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!